This is question 4 from the 2008 calculator paper. Here we're asked to write down the value of y. We're told, first of all, this is important, that AB is parallel to CD. So this line here is parallel to this line down here. So we're dealing with parallel lines. When we're dealing with parallel lines, we know lots of facts about them. And I can say right now that right down the value of y, we can see that this is going to be 58 degrees. And the reason for that is because y is alternate to the angle of 58. So it's an alternate angle. That angle of 65 there has nothing to do with this question. It's uh, probably simply there, maybe to throw you off. But that 65, we don't need to do anything with that. But we could say that, for example, this angle here would be 65. Uh, and we could say that this angle here would be 65 and so on but that does not that does not matter for our question we only ask for the angle y and y is 58 degrees here we're asked to find so if you got that question wrong what I suggest you do is you pause the video at this point and attempt this question here we're asked to find the angle y so we told this for it that this angle here is 105 degrees. Now from just this information we can figure out what this angle is going to be. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to say well what will this angle here be? Now I can see that these are both on the same straight line. We can see that they're parallel. This little arrow is telling us that that this line here is parallel to this line down the bottom. And I can see that this is a straight line so because it is a straight line, and I know that this is 105 degrees, that this angle here must be 75 degrees. And if I was asked to give a reason for that, I would say that uh, the angles on a straight line, the angles, and I'm just going to um, abbreviate here to straight line to SL, angles on a straight line equal 180 degrees. But I still haven't found my angle Y. My angle y is simply going to be 75 degrees as well. So y is equal to 75 degrees. And the reason for that is I would say that this is 75 degrees. It is 75 degrees simply because it is corresponding. It's a corresponding angle. And it is corresponding to the angle that we just found out. So it's a corresponding angle because it is essentially in the same position. If we imagine, if we imagine that this angle here, uh, let's use a different colour, this angle in this position here is in the bottom left. It's in the bottom left of the four angles that are around this bit here. We can see we've got one, two, three, four, and we can see that this angle here is in the bottom left. On the same four angles at the bottom here, it's in the same position, it's also in the bottom left, and that is what we call a corresponding angle. So for example, this angle up the top here corresponds to this angle here. And uh, let's do another couple of examples. This angle here in the top left would correspond to the top left angle down here, and we could say that they would be the same. 